Hey guys, welcome to my plant throne. It's a new year, it's time for a new plant. Who was David Portia and what did he dream about? You know, there are few things that create more of a frenzy in life than an Equigenera live sale on Instagram. All of these amazing plants are sort of flung at you. You have a few seconds to decide if you want it or not. Let's dive into this Equigenera box. One of these guys is Paul Drink of Water, and I'm thinking this might be him. Ooh, okay, yep. It's Felix. Felix the plant. It says philodendron SP Felix with some long ass leaves. Look at this guy. I mean, this is like a theme over here in this corner, right? Philodendron Hybrido Felix that I paid $40 for. So not a bad deal. Listen, these are fast growers. These are good statement plants to have. And these are, you know what they are? They're so easy. I'm not gonna say you can't mess it up, but you would have to try pretty hard. So, you know, I just like how a philodendron fills a space. I like the drama. I like these abs. This looks so good. Like this philodendron Charoni, which is also a quick grower. Not sure if I'm going to put it in this room or the guest room where my sister usually stays. Because he is also a plant lover. This is packed lovingly with tape on the top and then a wet paper towel. And then they have their usual very successful blend of a little bit of soil. They have some cocoa chip, some perlite, of course. Who knows what else? Do they put worm castings in here? I mean, that would be not the biggest surprise, but how cute. Really like this guy. Look at this deep old sinus. As these mature and you get bigger leaves, you're going to get even bigger sinus. So this is where the plant continues to shoot out of right here, out of this. And a moss pole wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to help stabilize it and help it just grow down. So they travel at such a short duration that I don't have to acclimate them. Usually if they'll pack the roots in some moss and it's on you then to acclimate to your surrounding. I don't have this one. This is a first for me. Take a bow, gorgeous. So this is David Portia Dream. They've wrapped up this little guy here. Oh, oh it's an inflow. I forgot about this. How cool. You know, this is like normally kind of lame if you get one of these, but you know what? If it gives me some pollen, I'm going to harvest it. And I have an Entherium clarinervium that has an inflow. So maybe timing will allow for me to cross pollinate these. David Portia was the nephew of the founder of Equigenera. It's a cross between an Anthurium luxuriens and an Anthurium forgetii. You can see that kind of like reptilian quality that the luxuriens gives you, but it's not going to have the closed sinus that the forgetii has. For a point of reference, this is my newest forgetii leaf. This has actually exceeded my expectations this is my first forgetti eye and it just keeps growing impressed with this one my luxurians i have a mother plant and it's doing great also this is super cool now let's be honest would we much rather have a nice big leaf rather than like this luxurians clearly prefer a much less dense mist because they've got this one in pretty much all coconut chips these actually do hold on to like quite a bit of moisture though. And then some perlite. And that's what we have here. So this is what my Luxurian's mother plant from Equigenera is in. And it's doing just fine. So there's no need to do anything right now, which is cool. This is so sad. This kind of wakes up with a bottomless plant unboxing. Who are you and what have you done to my wallet? Wow. I see why I liked this one. Yeah, this one's bent. It's the little guy. Uh, but look at this. Look at that. That is super. Oh my gosh. It's so reptilian. This has like abs and texture and crocodile skin for days. So this is like the newest guy. And he's like, he seems like pretty new still. The soil is still damp. They honestly could have hung out and traveled another couple of days. It was mandatory that everybody got a heat pack. Carolines for all of these, it's more or less uniform. They're gonna go under the grow light or like peripherally near the grow light. They are not going to get tap water. No! Tap water. Ever! So I have learned the hard way 
to make these leaves look real terrible, go ahead and use some tap water with this. I didn't believe it at first. I was like, that's so fussy. I'm not doing that. Just go ahead and purchase the Amazon or the Brita filter and filter your tap water first because there's so much fluoride and chlorine and all kinds of nasty. I mean, think about if they're calcifying your shower, they're definitely calcifying the soil on top of your plant. It's not that much extra trouble, but it does make a huge bit of difference. It's winter, but I am still going to fertilize it like maybe every two weeks when I give these a water. These roots look great. A clear pot for days. You can see why this does so well because the roots are so robust here. You know exactly what's going on. I hope you learned a little something about this Equigenera hybrid, which is kind of cool. They had a huge one at the live sale that somebody else got. I was like, I don't know if I need a giant one of these. These hybrids do really well. They seem to be easier. They're all pretty straightforward. So I just did not want to buy another queen. I just didn't have it in me to struggle with another one of those. This will make you feel good about plants. So will this one. It'll, you'll notice some crisping edges um perhaps crank up your humidity a little bit like today it's raining and overcast and i had 60 percent humidity in my living room which is unheard of that is a crazy anomaly for southern california we are dry af over here i grow my plants without a grow tent they're in ambient air there's oftentimes that i see them hanging out in 30 percent humidity which I mean, they're still alive. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you love plants, please subscribe. That would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, I'm wishing you the biggest leaf energy. See you next time.